Dominic, off the back of an exceptional 2017, you're back here in 2018. Primarily here, we're here today to talk about the MX520. But what I do know is walking around your showroom here, a lot of these machines have got sold stamps on them. Obviously, it was a good last quarter for you last year. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it was, it was a, a tough, tough slog really last year. But the, the, last, the last three months of, uh, of 2017, we saw a, an amazing pickup in the market and our customer base, as always, were good to us. And yeah, we've... We've sold quite a few machines, which we will be delivering throughout 2018. And talking about 2018, the, the big point that we're going to make today is about the MX520, the machines you're carrying here readily available in stock, aren't you? So you can react quickly to, to customer demands? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, the, the MX520 has been a very popular machine for us, as you know, over the last few years. And what we're finding now is that a lot of our customers are coming back for the second, third machine. But also we're penetrating, obviously, a lot of new customers, a lot of uh, small SMEs that, that want that kind of machine. And obviously what we've realised, competing at this level, um, entry level five axis, is that you need to have the machines in stock to deliver very quickly. It seems like we've only been talking about this machine for maybe two or three years, but you mentioned to me earlier as well that there's over 70 machines in the, in the UK field. That's an incredible number for such a short period of time. How have you achieved that? Well, I think, you know, obviously the Matsura quality and brand, everyone would like, I'd like to think that, you know, would like to own one. They think it's expensive, but, on, but in this case, with the MX520, it's, it's very affordable. You know, it is, it is competing with... The, the, the lower range or let, let me say the more entry level five axis machines in the market and, and that's the reason for, for the high numbers that we've sold. So how do you manage to provide a premium quality machine hand built Japanese product with that kind of uh, price advantage as well? Is it, is it just down to economies of scale simply the number that you're selling? Yes but also obviously you know through being on the R&D and the steering committee, you know, when we look at a new machine, we look at where we need to be in the market and what specification at what price. And we design machines priced to sell within a global market. And, and you must become more and more confident now every time you walk into potentially a new customer of actually winning the business based on you know, the historic two or three years of, of selling more than 70 machines. It must be a nice tool to have in your box. It is, absolutely, but the thing is is that you know, we don't obviously shy away from the quality, the rigidity and the reliability of the product, you know, packaged at a price that is affordable. And I think, you know, again with this, this video today, we want to get the message out that we are affordable you know, to a lot more people than they probably really realise. You know, give us that opportunity, engage us in a conversation and we'll show you that you can afford an MX520. And if people hadn't seen any previous videos, just give us a very, very quick overview of the, of the spec of the machine, the speed of it, the size of it, the working envelope, etc. Okay, so the size obviously 520 denotes a 520 diameter by 350 millimeter high capacity. But if we actually lower that height, we can actually rotate a component of 700 diameter. For a very small footprint machine, it's quite a big capacity. It's standard with 12,000 RPM, optional 20,000. 60 tools is standard. We have 90 tools as an option, and now this year we, we're out now offering it with 120 tools as well. So, you know, quite, quite a comprehensive spec really for a, for a small machine. And I think, you know, where we're winning is that some of our competitors don't offer that number of tools. And with this machine, we talk about them being readily available in stock. Does that mean that you can put one of these in the field within a matter of days or weeks? What's the sort of time scales if I came here today and I was interested in, in buying this machine? Could you deliver it to me? Obviously, we always look to react to a customer's requirements. So, you know, the shortest time we could deliver a machine is within two weeks, uh, typically three to four weeks from receipt of order, because we normally have to bespoke make a, a swap management system, um, and we obviously get that manufactured in the UK. However, should they want a standard tank, we keep those in stock. So, but it depends what the customer's wants are, needs are, and we'll, we'll endeavour to do our best to deliver. And do you find that engineers do come to you these days and go, I need one of these, I want one of these, but I've got to have it in two, three weeks? Oh, absolutely. And that's, you know, a you know, perfect world would be you'd like to plan it out over a number of weeks. But we are a reactive market to a customer's need. Good stuff, Dom. And good luck for the first quarter of 2018. So there you have it. MX520 machines here from Matsura, available from stock.